Ja. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward Andre Burakovsky. Peter Ba, The Athletic. Hey, Andre. Um, what was that last, like, 10-minute stretch like? It felt like there wasn't a whistle there for, for quite a while. Yeah, you know, we just uh, we're just trying to stay in there, uh, protect the middle, and uh, not give up anything. Uh, I mean, I think they did a pretty good push on us there, but I think we, we stayed stay in the middle. We, we're taking care of it, and they didn't really have any great A chances. So it's a good job. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Andre, a little off topic, but uh, when the NHL re uh, loosened restrictions today on COVID, did that give you guys a little bit of uh, uh, cause for celebration among your teammates? You'll be able to go out to dinners now and stuff like that. Could it help this team chemistry-wise moving forward in the next, uh, you know, in the playoffs even? Uh, yeah, we're definitely really happy about um, what came out, the new restrictions. Um just be able to go out, have like a normal road trip again, go out, have dinner, be able to hang out with each other again. I mean, uh, yeah, we're definitely happy about that. I mean, chemistry wise, we, we already have really good chemistry. So um, we don't think about that. Arif Dean, Mile High Sports. Andre, I was curious uh, of what your opinion is of Alex Newhook's game. You've been playing with him a lot these last few games and just your thoughts on him as a young rookie. Uh, I think he's been coming in and played really well. Um, I like playing with him. I think he's he's bringing a lot of speed. He's 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 a really skilled guy. I mean, uh, I just want to kind of give him the puck in his hands and let him do it, let him do his thing. Um, I think he came out and and just did his thing. Like uh, a lot of times, rookies are coming in in the first game and will be, be a little bit nervous and maybe a little shaky. But I think he's been coming in and just doing his thing, and it's really fun to watch. We'll take two more here for Andre Dan Greenspan, Associated Press. Hey, Andre, you extend your point streak tonight. Just what's working well with your offensive game this last little stretch? Uh, I think today I was just I was just a little bit blessed, to be honest. I, I created a couple chances. Um, I mean, just some tasers for first goal. I mean, that's it's nothing. I, I'm not really involved in the game. I'm just trying to go to net and hit, hit my, my skate and, come, and comes back to him. So, I mean, that's just that's just lucky and uh, on obviously on the second one, uh, power play. I'm just made one pass to to um, to Miko, Miko and him and, and me and Kel took care of the rest. So um, I mean, you're just a little bit lucky right now. I, things are going going the right way for me, and um, I'm just trying to create stuff. And if it if, if it ends up in a goal, um, I'm happy about that. And last one here, Peter Ba, the Athletic. Yeah, Andre, Kale the other day said that he doesn't necessarily think his play warrants being in the Norris conversation, but he's obviously been in quite a hot streak of late. I guess, what are your thoughts on his potential Norris candidacy? Uh, I think he definitely deserves it. Um, I mean, he's, he's an unbelievable player. And the way he skates with the puck, the way he handles the puck, the way he shoots it, everything he does is just really fun to watch. And it's I'm really enjoying it to just watch it in, on a daily basis. So. Um, yeah, I think definitely he's up there by one of the best. And um, I mean, at such a young age, um, I can't wait to to see what he has in the future. All right. Thank you, Andre. Thank you. Yeah, let's, let's do this. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche defenseman Devon Taves. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Devon, I believe that was your first uh, two-goal game in your NHL career. Just your thoughts on uh, obviously scoring those two goals and getting the big win today. Yeah, uh, I think as Berkey said, a little bit blessed on that one to get that uh, kind of opportunity there. Uh, I was fortunate to to finish it off there. And then second one was just, you know, good ozone play. Starts with our forecheck a lot tonight, just creating time and space for us up top there. And you know, we're, we're able to roll three high with room there uh, once we get on the four check and, and force turnover. So uh, it, was a, it was a great play by Kale there to, to get the puck to me on the far side there. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, Devon, another game without your star center and leading scorer, but yet you get uh, all three goals from your top uh, D pair. Just thoughts about you and Kale in general and, and contributing those three key goals. 
Yeah, I just think that's what we expect to to do out there is, is just contribute offensively while, you know, playing against top lines defensively and, you know, limiting time and space in our own zone. And, you know, our offense as a team starts in our own zone. If we're able to close quick and, and force turnovers and get guys on their heels and, you know, our forwards play with such good pace that it, it puts a lot of D on their heels. It's hard to play against and it creates a lot of room and time and space for them. So uh, we're fortunate to be able to do that tonight. Peter Bott, The Athletic. Yeah, Devon, I, I saw you were wearing the, the A tonight. What did, to start, what did that mean to you? And secondly, have did you wear a letter at all in New York with the Islanders at all, or is that your first time in an NHL oh, game? Yeah, no, yesterday was first time. Uh, it, it wasn't expected. Uh, you know, I take a lot of pride in that, and, and it was a huge honor for me to, to be able to wear that. You know, we got 15 guys in that room that could wear that on any given night, honestly. You know, it's such a good group. A lot of guys lead by example on the ice and a lot of guys lead with their voice in the room too. So uh, I think it's just more of a, a community that we've created here is, you know, we've got a lot of natural born leaders. Ron Knobenbauer, avalanche.com. Hey, Devon, I believe you tied your career high now in a single season tonight. Um, how has maybe this team helped build your game and become a better player just being around these guys this past year? Yeah, uh, it's just a different style. Um, and I feel, you know, I take a lot of pride in being able to, you know, contribute whichever way, um, you know, some nights it's defensively, some nights it's offensively. And I've been fortunate to, to be on the offensive side of it a little bit more this year uh, with those opportunities to play with, you know, Nate and, and Landy and Miko a lot up there, but we got so many good forwards up there, all four lines, uh, you know, the, the way we play generates a lot of speed and offense. And, you know, I'm just trying to contribute and, you know, get the puck to the guys with speed and in good places. And, you know, I think we're all doing a good job with that. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, Devon, maybe I'll file this one from the uh, better late than never department. But, uh, you know, one road game left in the year. You finally, guys, you guys get the COVID restrictions loosened a little bit. Uh, but uh, seriously, how much do you think this could – help your team moving forward, even in the playoffs, finally getting able to go out and go to dinner and things like that and finally be communal experiences on the road as a team. Yeah, I think it'll be, it'll be nice. I think, you know, a lot of teams in the playoffs do a lot of team meals um, as it is, whether it'll be at the hotel or, or a restaurant. Um, at least we have those options to, you know, get a little variety in there as well, instead of just being at the hotel and it get guys, move in, get them out of the hotel, get them out of their bed a little bit more. But um, I don't think it'll change too much at this point. You know, once we get into playoffs, the focus is solely on winning, uh, getting through each round, every game. You know, it's a, it's a grind. So it's, you know, the recovery part of it is going to be even more crucial to us. So uh, I don't think guys are going to be doing anything crazy. We'll take two more here for Devon. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, Monday's game at Vegas should be a lot of fun. Obviously, a lot's at stake in terms of home ice and possibly the division title. Just overall thoughts about about that game on Monday, please. Yeah, first meeting we had at the beginning of the year was it was we're gunning for first. Um, that's our goal. That's what we expect. And uh, we have three games left. And we have a chance to do it. So, um, you know, it started with these two games in L.A. here, putting ourselves in a position to be able to do that. So. You know, we, we got to go one game at a time, but now we got the big one. Uh, we're, we're ready for it. We're prepared, and it should be a fun one. And last one here, Peter Bach, The Athletic. Yeah, Devon, you share the ice a lot with, with Kale McCarr. What are your thoughts on him potentially as a Norris candidate? Yeah, one of the best D-men in the league. Um, just a great human being, as is. Uh, we get along so well, and it's such, it's so much fun to watch him play and, and the way he creates time and space for his teammates. You know, it's – uh, part of that Norris is is points, but I think the other half should be how you create for your teammates and, and the time and space you create for them and, and what you can generate for them. And he does a fantastic job at creating time and space for me as his partner, or the forwards, uh, just by moving his feet or uh, just little plays here in, like within the game that that he makes on a daily basis is just truly fun to watch. And, um, you know, he's going to keep it going. It, it's consistent from him day in, day out. So that's what we expect. All right. Thank you, Devon. Thank you. All right. We'll take questions for Avalanche head coach, Jared Bednar. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, Jared, you 
you take four points out of LA without your top scorer and your number one center. Uh, and it seemed like Kale McCarr played a huge role in that with uh, a hand in four of the six goals. Just overall thoughts on Kale's game in these these two games in LA. Um, best word to describe it is dynamic. I mean, he was all over the ice. He skated um, unbelievably during the during both games. He's making plays, creating scoring chances. I mean, every time he's on the ice, something was happening. Just dynamic. And, and Taze was was equally as impressive tonight. A little bit more understated approach to the game, um, but just smart, intelligent hockey. And he gets two goals. I think Kale had the other one uh, to lead us to victory tonight. So great performance by those guys. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Jared. Uh, what did you think of Johansson's performance tonight, especially down the stretch there in the third? I thought he was pretty good. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, we didn't give up a lot again tonight. And he gets the job done. He makes the saves he needed to make, and he got us the win. Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Jared, just when you look at your forecheck, you know, both tonight and, and yesterday, it just seemed extremely strong. Just what did you think about you guys, you know, being able to really push the puck up the ice uh, these last two games? Well, they're, I mean, LA style, they, they play in that one, three, one, and they sit back a little bit. So moving through the neutral zone, um, at least to the red, red line is not difficult. I think if you get stubborn with it, um, they'll turn it over and, and come on the rush attack. We saw that it in portions of, of the last two games. And when we get in a little bit of a track meet back and forth because we weren't uh, disciplined enough with the puck. Um, I thought yesterday we did a really good job at, at making decisions on when to attack on the rush and create create an opportunity, or if we had to dump it in and get on the forecheck. And, and I think our forecheck was a little bit better yesterday than it was today. I, I'll, I'll know after I look at it, but we, we created quite a few turnovers yesterday and some scoring chances. Um, tonight it was it it wasn't quite as effective at keeping ozone possession, but we were getting it back in the neutral zone. So the you know, I thought it was a mature approach from our team, not trying to work through a crowd and skate through it because that's when they can hurt you in the transition. So um, LA does a real nice job clogging it up in between the red line and their own blue line and arriving back for the breakdown. So I, th I thought uh, for the most part that we got up and, and, and got after their D a little bit and created the turnovers we needed. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Uh, coach, uh... The, the th I was thinking that maybe you just want to shut down Nate just till game one of the playoffs, no matter what. Uh, is there much truth to that? Or is it just, you know, if he's good to go for Monday in Vegas, he'll go? Uh, uh, or what do you have to say on that, maybe? Yeah, there's no truth to that. Like, we're at the <laughs> place. Um, I mean, we're, we went out with first place. That's That's what we know. And I think maybe even first place in the whole league if we can win out. So we got three big games coming up, none bigger than the Vegas one. And um, that's our goal and, and to, to try and get that home ice. Now, um, that may be our goal with or without Nate, but I don't know yet. You know, we're, we're just going to be smart. And if he's hurt and can't go or we feel like there's risk of him getting worse, then we won't play him. But we, our job will be to go and, and win without him. Eric Dean, Mile High Sports. Jared, I was actually going to ask about that. The, the game against Vegas, if they win it, they clinch the West. But if you guys beat them in regulation, like you said, if you win out, you win the West and the NHL. So uh, just, I guess, how important is that game to you guys and how much are you guys willing to uh, play guys that are a little bit banged up for that game to try to go all in on on winning this division? I don't know yet. We don't, we don't have a lot of guys that are banged up. Like the guys that are banged up aren't with us on this road trip. Um, and they're not coming in. The one guy that's the exception to that is Nate. And that'll be a, a decision that I'll make um, after talking with him and just seeing how he's feeling. And I won't make that decision until game time or morning at the earliest and game time at the latest. And uh, if it's something that he wants to do and he's feeling good and he can play, then he'll play. If it's if, if he's not, then then he's not. Again, our, our job doesn't change. It makes it more difficult without Nate in the lineup, obviously, but we're, we've been working all year to try and get first place, and we're not going to give up on it with three games to go, regardless of who's in the lineup. Dan Greenspan, Associated Press. 
Hey, Jared. Uh, last night, Kale McCarr said he there was a stretch recently where he felt like he was on the ice for pretty much every goal you guys had conceded. But these last two games, he seemed very solid. Uh, does his offensive game help him settle in when he's having a bad stretch on the back end? Does it? Does it? I think that one way to the other. Oh, I think all players are, are like that. I don't think he's the exception to that. I think when you are able to go out and, and make something happen and feel good about yourself in the game, um, and you're and you're really dialed in, and, and your game is strong on the back end, it leads to being good on the offensive side of things. He always has that offensive dynamic. And I think, you know, players can slip in different areas, whether it's defensively, off the rush, their gaps, um, you know, using their stick and staying physical in the D zone, boxing out, whatever, whatever aspect of a defenseman's game that, that you're talking about, it'll it'll be good in one area and, and it can dip in another. And, and, you know, we identified that with not only him and our top guys, uh, but all our top guys it, that we were a little lax on the checking side of it. We wanted to dial it up to make sure our habits were right for the playoffs. That's the most important thing to me, even even probably more important than, than first place is that we're playing the right way going into the playoffs. I don't think you can just turn a switch on game one and go, okay, now we're ready to play. You have to build that all year. We've been trying to do that. And, and so for the last uh, three games here, we're going to continue to do it. I thought we took a big step forward in these last two games against LA. Um, and now we'll have to do it again uh, in Vegas. But um, yeah, I think there's some truth to that. Like when you're when you're playing well, then, then you know the defensive part of your game, you'll be confident with that as well. We've got time for one more here. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. It was uh, Soderberg, a, uh, is he banged up or, or was he a healthy scratch? And then secondly, you guys only took one penalty last night, two tonight. I'm sure you're happy about the uh, guys staying out of the box in this, this two game set. Yeah, I am good discipline um, using our legs to check. Like we worked, we worked the last two games. So we weren't an easy team to play against. And, um, you know, we made, our, we made some mistakes, but I think uh, you cover up a lot of mistakes with hard work, and we did that when you're skating and checking like the way we did in the last couple of games. Uh, you're going to take less penalties. You have the puck more, and, and, and you're just in the right positions to check the puck back instead of watching early and then having to reach in and, and get a hold of guys. So um, I was happy with that aspect of our game for sure. How about Soderberg? Soderberg has uh, uh, had some uh, low back tightness. Um, I think he's a guy that we, we could have played, um, you know, if it was, you know, the be all end all, but we had some um, extra guys and, and Magna was a player that played extremely well for us. We have some guys banged up at home. I don't know what their status is going to be for the start of playoffs. So I made the decision to pull Sodes and, and give him a day of rest in a back to back and get a guy in that we may need here early in the playoffs. All right. Thank you, Jared. All right. Thank you.